DC Young Fly solved the Jackie O case. To find out what happened, watch this whole video and subscribe to the channel. Who's your favorite? Who's your favorite girl besides your mom and Nova? <laughs> Who's your favorite? Hey, you know that's my sister. <laughs> <laughs> John. <laughs> All right, Monty, Monty. <laughs> John, <laughs> who is your favorite girl? Once everybody realized that the friends that came with Jackie O, they left and they weren't coming back. That's when they should have immediately signed her up and put her into the recovery houses because they're not even supposed to let anybody go for at least one to two days after having an operation like that. Most things are on a 30 minute hold to make sure that you could drive and that you could walk and not going to fall over or nothing like that. So somebody should have been with her, man. Whoever it was that ended up picking and choosing which place that they were going to go to, it was clearly the wrong choice, man. I don't know how they were not able to look up and see that this place only had like a one star review, man. There's a lot more options that they could have went with instead of going with Dr. Z. Not everything is alleged, but a lot of people are saying that this was a choice either by one of the people, either Jackie O chose this or DC Young Fly might have chosen it. Now, we don't know what the relationship is. If maybe they, they knew the, the, the specific doctor and they were like, okay, I know this guy, you know, why don't you go see him? I knew him for a couple of years or something like that. So it could have been like that, but she already had multiple other operations from her previous one so was this the same one that she was going to or was it a new person if she's never been to this specific center before and this doctor and and gotten this operation if it's a brand new one then that's how you know that something went wrong because if she if she just kept going back to the same doctor that she normally sees then maybe they would have knew her a little bit better and they would have knew about the right precautions to take. Like they could have known that she was a lightweight and that you might need a longer period of time to recover. One thing about it is that people know that the lightweights versus the heavyweights, a heavyweight, they might be able to go through an operation, whatever, and then they'll be fine the next day. Like it's a quick turnaround. The lightweights is that anything they put inside of them, any type of medicine, anything like that is going to hit them harder, is going to make them more discombobulated to the fact that they need at least two to three days to recover from this so they should have at least had jackie o in the recovery house taken aftercare for at least two to three days prior after she, her getting out of the surgery center and if they would have did that then it would have gave dc young fly enough time to actually get done filming that show he was doing and fly down to miami so that he could be with jackie o and actually be right next to her taking care of her while she's doing the recovery process in the recovery house at the aftercare. That's what it should have happened. But the fact that that didn't happen is point as a lot of red flags because especially for a celebrity and especially for them getting the operation done in Miami, they should have had way more professionalism out of that. It should have been more professional. The real professional places they're going to have an entire room, an entire department inside of their center that's going to be for people dedicated that got out of surgery and that they're waiting for their recovery process. They're waiting for their family and friends to come and visit them. It could have been something like that to where all of her friends and all of the kids that all, all of them could have came and visited Jackie O in the recovery center. This is nothing that you want to rush. A lot of times people nowadays, they're very busy. They want to rush and get, get you moving to the next customer. They don't want no, uh, no, they don't want you to find out and, and have a, you know, oh, I had a, I had a question about this. I had a question about that. They don't want you to come back around and, and actually catch on to a lot of the stuff that's going on. So they try to quickly get Jackie O out of the building. And this is the reason why a lot of people say that they can't trust these places no more because of the fact that a lot of them they just want the money they're they're basically trying to just get the clout or whatever it was from the promo they might not have, uh, clearly if they would have been a hundred percent on point they would have provided the aftercare they would have made sure that because this is a bad promo on them now look what the promo turned to they wanted to 
do all of this for free, get her out here. They were, you know, trying to cut, they allegedly could have been trying to cut the corners so that they could try to get it for cheaper because you got to think about it. They were about to go and give the BBL out for free to Jackie O. That means the doctor got to take his time off. He's not getting paid for this part. All the material they using, they're not getting paid for it. <laughs> all the tables, the the appointment, the booking, all of that, it was for free. So they're trying to minimize the amount of money that they're spending to to you know make this collaboration happen. So they're using the leftover materials. They're using things that are almost done. They're like you know they're they're putting. The, the bottle of soap, they're adding water to it and shaking it up so they could stretch it and get more out of it. This is the type of things that could have been going on because you got to understand this was a small office, small surgery center unit, and they were trying to get the promo. They already had bad experiences. The history of them wasn't that good. They were losing customers left and right. They were literally on the last verge, right? And they thought this Jackie O promo was going to, you know, get them back popping again. But the thing was, is that they tried to do it too cheap. They tried to not spend any type of money and, and, and use the leftovers and all that. And, and uh, you could see in the results of what happened. This is a bad promo for the place, man. If this is what is going to happen to somebody who goes there just to show you how what the operation is supposed to be like and what you could get and then just advertise it then nobody will want to ever go there again because the lady that was advertising the place ended up like getting sent up and passing due to the fact of complications after the thing. Now, this is all alleged because you have to understand that there was a lot of time in between when Jackie left the surgery center place and when they found her into the hotel. The thing is, is that the evidence that they're trying to figure out is to point to where did she fall out as soon as she got to the hotel room? Because if they were trying to call her and text her and everything like that, and you know, then that means that she might have already, as soon as she got to the hotel room or whatever she did, that's when she could have lost touch with everybody. And so that's that's when they're trying to figure out, okay, so she must have been already on the verge of having something happen to her as soon as she left the surgery place. And got dropped off at the hotel. That's why we need to look at the hotel footage and this in the surgery place footage to see exactly what state of mind, what condition she looked like she was in. Did she have any assistance going to the car? Did she have any items with her? Did she still have, you know, her bags and her purse and everything like that? Who was helping her get to the thing? Because most people that get out of the BBL surgeries, they have to use a walker. And the walker that they use. You, ha you can't just throw that in the car and pull it out. You have to break it down and put it in the trunk. And then when you get to the spot, the driver is going to have to get out, go to his trunk, take the walker out, bring it to the passenger seat of Jackie O. Then he's going to have to slowly help her out. You can't even be sitting down after getting a BBL. So I don't understand how she could have got from the surgery place to the hotel if you can't even sit down after having a fresh BBL. So what would she be doing? She had to have been laying down in the Uber. And so this is what we're trying to figure out on the accounts. This is what they're not telling. They're, nobody has got an interview from the driver. We're trying to speak with the driver and get an interview from them right now to figure out when she got in and they were taking her back to the hotel. Was she sitting down or was she laying down? Because if she had the BBL, she could not be sitting down. So we're trying to figure out how they had all this happen. Did she... Does she have happen to fall or anything like that or stumble or trip up on anything after the fact? Because if there was nothing that she must have tripped or fell on or nothing hit or cut her in between her getting out of the surgery place and going to the hotel, then that means the only other the only real reasonable thing is that whatever happened at the surgery thing is what caused her to fall out at the hotel because it's only so much apart and it's like to get from the surgery center place to the hotel only takes five minutes <clears throat> so after her surgery is done within 10 minutes she's already back at the hotel with no type of instructions on what she's supposed to be doing moving forward how to sit how to walk what type of walker to use they didn't give her no type of cane they didn't give anything like that no stick no walking stick or nothing like that 
And so this is why a lot of people are saying that there should have definitely been somebody with her because they would have cared more about her like a family member to be able to be right there by her side, hold her hand, make sure that she can lean on them if she's trying to go up the steps or trying to go up the curb and everything like that. So everybody's wondering why the friends left. Did they leave? Did they allegedly try to set her up? Because a lot of times when when the when you go somewhere with your friends and let's say it was a situation where the friends left and then something happened to the person that they left, usually you people would think that the friends left and went and set them up and told some other people to go find them and that they're here and everything. And the friends left and went somewhere else so that they could have an alibi, whether they were at the club party in Miami, whether they were at a Pitbull or Florida concert, if they were at the beach, if they were on one of those super yachts. So they try to get the alibi, but nobody's understanding. If you a real true friend of Jackie O, why would you leave her when she's really about to go under the knife like that? That doesn't make any type of sense. So the people that... They're claiming that left her can't really be her true friends. And so there's still a chance and possibility that anything that they could have did or said could have gave away Jackie O's location to somebody else, whether they knew about it or not. And so one thing you have to understand is that you can't be leaving your friends. <laughs> and then when something happens to them because you left them. Don't be surprised because the reason why people stick together anyways is so that you can have each other's back if something like this goes down. Because at the end of the day, ain't nobody that's going to be there to take care of you. Look at the fact that the nurses in the doctor place let Jackie O leave without doing the aftercare and they didn't even want to spend another day with her for some reason. And so this is the reason why the place has a one star rating. Everybody can learn from this. You have to do the research. And a lot of times when that when they get the gut feeling saying that they, they don't want to do something and go to this place, then they shouldn't have did that. Now, the thing is, is that Jackie O might have had the contract with the surgery place. So even if she didn't want to do it, she already signed the thing. It's legally binding. It was already an agreement that she was supposed to get it done. And if she doesn't do it, then they could come back and get her for everything because this is supposed to be a business thing that they all both signed and put their signature on saying that she was going to do that. She was going to go through. She had a lot of time to second guess and to back out of it. Once the, the she's made that final signature, there was no going back on it. And so this is something that she couldn't. Uh, once it was in route, once they were already on the way to going there and she made it to the appointment, there was really no going back. Once they once they put the whole entire gas mask on and pump the anesthesia, then it's like at that point you wake up and everything is over with already. So there's no going back after you make that decision. <laughs> and this is the thing is that they already had it in writing. The money was put on the table. You know, the promo was going to be done for free when they, she was going to post it, though, because when she posts it, that's when she's going to charge them. So they supposed to pay some type of bread. Some people are saying 20,000. Some people are saying 50,000. It could have been some type of influencer money, because when you really look at all the influencers, they're not just out here doing the stuff for free. They get the stuff for free. And when they post it and talk about it. That's when they get paid. So it's an entire commercial campaign. A lot of people, they didn't get the uh, both sides of the story. The, the doctor's side of the story is that they're giving away Jackie O, the BBL, and that she's going to do the promo and everything. That's their side of the story. Jackie O's side of the story is the fact that she was going to go do the promo to help them out. But if she wants them to post it on her platforms and everything and talk about it and put the link in and the codes and everything then they're going to have to cut her the check. The BBL is just so that they, that the giving them for free so that the doctor people can say that they did uh, work on Jackie O so that they could get the testimonial and post the picture on their Instagram. But if they want Jackie O to show the whole before and after and the whole trip vlogging, this is what a lot of people said that Jackie O was supposed to be doing. She was supposed to be documenting the whole entire thing. So where is the footage from Jackie O documenting all of this stuff. We want to see it. We want to see her walking up in there. We want to see them explaining exactly what they're going to do. We want to see them drawing the lines on her and everything like that. Because 
if she's saying that she she's documenting the reason her going there is and documenting the whole entire procedure, then they got the footage of everything and when it went wrong and all of that. They got the footage of inside the surgery place. Most of the time, you can't get that because of certain privacy laws and the HIPAA and all that stuff. And the real people who's actually in the medical industry, they know this. They know for a fact that there's certain things where you can't get the actual CCTV 4K footage of the hospitals or the certain doctor places because it's the privacy HIPAA laws. And so this is the reason why if Jackie O was in there doing her vlog and doing her clips, then we then she's the only person with the footage. So what happened to Jackie O's camera? What happened to Jackie O's phone? All the stuff that Jackie O had with her would have the evidence showing her talking to the doctor. It would have the evidence of the, her showing the procedure of them telling whether they were going to put her in the aftercare recovery house or whether they were just going to release her right out of right off the bed. And so this is the thing that everybody's trying to figure out now, because for now we know for a fact that she was recorded inside of there and she's got the clear footage that shows exactly what they told her. And she's got the footage of the preparation and everything inside the hotel. So then we know what the hotel looks like. Maybe she had passed a couple of the workers and everything. We know what the floor looks like. So if there was uh, people in the room next to her, if there was anything like that, um, if the people were being mean or if they had left anything out or if there was something in the room that made it look like it could be something they were being targeted for, we don't. they could be showing the safe and everything. Jackie O's got the footage of the inside of the hotel room with her and her friends before they left to the surgery place. And that footage could have showed if they had the money in the safe out or if they had any type of Louis Vuitton bags. You got to understand that a lot of the celebrity females, the girls out here, they have all the designer bags. Jackie O could have been out there with a Birkin bag. A Birkin bag is almost $700,000. So imagine, imagine her friends leaving her and Jackie O is walking around Miami with a $700,000 bag. And the resale value of that could be into the hundred thousands because you know how the scalpers just mark everything up. So Jackie O got left. She was alone walking around with a $700,000 bag in a sketchy hotel, motel, like type of thing. And people are wondering why something happened. She was alone. She had too much brand or something valuable on her that somebody know. If you know people, they know in Miami, they know what Birkin bags look like. They seen all the rappers, girlfriends. They seen everybody with that. They seen the NBA players with that. And they, the girls are the NBA players and they, saying exactly how much the bag cost and they're flexing it. The girls are flexing the bags and the designer as much as the rappers flex the jewelry. And so when the rappers flex the jewelry, somebody hits them up in the street so that they can rob them for that and get that and get the bread and melt it down, sell it, all that stuff. So the same situation could apply if Jackie O is walking around fresh out of the surgery place, loopy because she's not, she didn't get the aftercare. And because she didn't get the aftercare and they just sent her back out into the world, then she doesn't, she's not clearly coherent to understand the dangers of walking around Miami or going to the sketchy hotel motel place with a $700,000 bag and people looking at her thinking that, she might have had a lot to drink or they trying to they seeing that she's stumbling and stuff like that. And even if they didn't want the bag or nothing, they, even if they weren't trying to go and, and take nothing from her, they could have seen her stumbling and everything and knew that, OK, this girl got to be messed up wherever she came from. They should have been watching her there. Her, where they're thinking, where is her people? Where's her friends? Where's her man's at? And so. Everybody then, when she's going to the hotel, the people at the front desk counter is thinking she's just another one of the Miami people who just came back from partying and that this is why she's stumbling and that she's loopy. 
So they didn't really think about it too much. They thought that she was just lit from turning up because it's Miami and it was the weekend. They didn't know that she was coming from the BBL place and was loopy off the laughing gas and the anesthesia. Because that would make a big difference. If she was loopy off the anesthesia and the laughing gas, then that means that if they would have knew that, they would have went and checked up on her. But since they thought she was getting lit because it's Miami, then they thought it was a normal, another thing. They didn't think anything was going to happen to her because a lot of people get lit, get you know, be stumbling around, and then the next morning, they're fine. They're back to normal with the hangover and all that. And so this is the thing is that if the friend would have been with her, then they would have been the only people that knew that she came from the BBL place. And they would have been like, no, she's not just lit. We're actually trying to take care of her because she just had an operation. This is more serious than than what y'all normally see. And then somebody could have went and did something about it, got her the right hydration, took her back to the clinic, rushed to the E, you know, anything like that, that would have prevented the worst from happening. So if y'all want some more updates on it, subscribe to the channel.